Now I'm going to show you a technique I like to use for making a periodic signal in MATLAB. Consider signal D here. This is a periodic signal which I would like to make in MATLAB. I'm going to start in MATLAB. I'm going to bring up a new editor window. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to call up a new figure. And I'll dock this figure. I want it to just occupy this space. OK, so here's our signal. And it's pi periodic. So the overview of this technique is I'm going to map all time points to this period from 0 to pi. And I'm going to use the equations for parts of this function over the 0 to pi interval to calculate all those points which were mapped onto the first interval. So we're, we're basically just calculating the function over the, the first period from 0 to pi. So in MATLAB, I'm going to define a vector that goes from, let's see, negative 2 pi to 2 pi. And we're going to have this variable number of points. So the first step, as I said, is map all points to the first period. So the way we do that is we make a new time vector. I'm going to call it t2. And it's going to be t modulo 2. I'm sorry, it should be t modulo pi. And just to show you what that looks like, I'm going to make a quick little plot here. So we'll stem 1 to number of points. And we're going to plot t and t2. And stem likes them as column vectors, so I transpose the matrix. I need to save this as something, so we'll call it periodic signal demo. And it didn't like that. What's the problem? Let's try semicolon. I think that'll work. OK, so here, um, the blue is t. And you can see it increases linearly, as it should. But for t2, all the points are mapped to this interval between 0 and pi. So that's what we wanted. Now we had to create a y vector, which represents the y data. And we had to go back and, well, I guess I'll first I'll call it, I'll define it as a vector of zeros. And it should have the number of points that we defined. So there, there are 301 time points. Going back to the signal, you can see there are three segments we have to work with over the 0 to pi interval. The first is 0 to pi over 4, where y is equal to t. The second is this pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4, where y is 0. And the third is this interval from 3 pi over 4 to pi, where y is negative the quantity pi minus t. So since y is already a vector of zeros, we just need to calculate its value over this interval, the 0 to pi over 4, and this interval, 3 pi over 4 to pi. For this, logical subscripting in MATLAB will come in quite handy. So in MATLAB, I'm going to assign values of y where t is less than or equal to pi over 4 
we're just going to set them equal to t. However, we can't just use t. We have to use the same number of points at the specific times of t where t is less than pi over 4. So we have to use that as our, sub, our logical subscripting also. And let's just plot now what that looks like. Oh, and one thing to point out is this should actually be t2 because um, that's the one we've, we mapped to, um, to this region, or this interval 0 to pi, the first period. So the assignment should look like this, but the actual data and the actual plot command will use t instead of t2. And that didn't work out well, and what I forgot was it needs to be t2 here. So let's run that again. And now you can see that it's starting to look like what we want. From 0 to pi over 4, it's equal to t. And then in these other regions, it's 0. But we need to add the other part of it that goes from 3 pi over 4 to pi. So as before, I'm, now I'm going to specify y where t over 2 is less than or equal to pi. That's one condition. The other condition is t2 is greater than 3 quarters pi. And the way we combine these is we have to use the AND function. And we have to specify the same index, same logical index, but here the function is negative pi minus t2. Now let's run that, save it and run, and see what we get. And this is what we were after. So from minus pi over 4 to pi over 4, we've got y equals t, and then it's 0, and then after one period of pi, the signal repeats itself. And just to make this clearer, I'm going to divide t over pi. I'm going to format it a little nicer, give it a, a label, and we'll make it a little bit bigger too, with the font being times, which is a little nicer, I think. Let's run that. And the plot probably deserves a Y label, so let's call it Y of T. And for clarity, we'll turn the grid on. So there it is. I've created a periodic signal. And the procedure, remember, was first map all the time points to the first interval and that when you use the modulo function, it's going to be 0 to the period. That's the region over which you define the function. And then you have to sort of calculate the function in a piecewise manner. And logical subscripts are really handy for that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like my channel if you found this helpful.